Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today, guys, we've got episode number seven of the West Ham Master League series here on PES 2020 with the Argentinian madman Diego Maradona in charge of the club. And as you can see, today's game does not get much more difficult, does it? It's Manchester City. We are at home, so that gives us a glimmer of hope. But yeah, today's game is going to be a very, very difficult one. I'm really looking forward to it. And just before we do crack on with the game, let's show you how we've been getting on since the last video, which was this game here. Manchester United at home, 2-1 defeat. Probably the right result, I should think you can say, for United. We was never really too much in the game other than our equaliser. A beautiful goal from the man cross Lanzini. But other than that, I think United deserve to win it. So after that one, we moved on and we got a 1-0 win against Burnley. I've been taking screenshots of the match stats after games. So the ones that I've remembered to do, which I think I'm, I did remember for this one, I'm going to be flashing up. Here in the edit after I finish recording this. So yeah, we got a 1-0 win against Burnley. Pretty much standard game really. We we was the better team. We deserved to win it and so we did. And then this game, oh my gosh, this game against Villa. 0-0. It was the most 0-0 game ever. It was a boring game to play. Boring game to watch. Be grateful I didn't bring that one to you. Because, oh my days, nobody nobody would have got past the first five minutes of the game. It had nil-nil written all over it from the very start. But then, we had a game against today's opponents, Manchester City, in the FA Cup quarter-final, as you can see. And, 2-0 to Manchester City. Does not tell the whole story of the game. We was in it up until the hour mark. 60 minutes, it was nil-nil. We had them on the ropes. We was going for it. We had chances to take the lead in the first half. Unfortunately, we didn't take them. And they then scored two in about two or three minutes to really take us out of the game and to kill it off. Which is unfortunate. I would have liked to have got a bit further in the FA Cup. But quarterfinals, not a terrible run. We go again next year and try and win it next year. And then after that, 1-0 against Watford. We look tired. We look leggy in this game. I think Watford scored somewhere near the end. Like I say, I'm going to have the screenshot up above, which hopefully might have when we, when we conceded. And so, yeah, 1-0 defeat to Watford. We never really looked good in that one. But this game, this game, this game. 5-1 versus Chelsea, a Manuel Lanzini hat-trick, oh, be still my beating heart, my man crush with the best game of his career, Chelsea could not touch him, oh, he ran rings around the Chelsea defence, they did not know what to do with him, and he got his hat-trick in like the 80-odd minutes, something like that, Mark Noble had the ball in the box, he could have gone for the shot, but he squared it to Lanzini for the easy hat-trick goal. And oh, I, I'm so happy with that performance. That's the best performance we've had all season by a mile. But then... Oh, where are we gone? All right, but then after that one... Where are we? Where are we? Da -da -da -da, there we go. There we are. We've, I think we've used up all our goals in that game. If I'm going to be honest, I don't think we're going to score too many more. Hopefully I'm wrong, because it wouldn't be a good omen for this video, would it? But, yep, yeah, 0-0 against Southampton. Neither side looked like doing anything in this game again. It was another one that had 0-0 written all over it. As did this one here against Brighton and Hove Albion. We, we went with the same team for those two games that we did with the Chelsea game. And just nothing happening. Both teams, I think, set up rather defensively, so we couldn't get through them, unfortunately. But then, this one, one of our worst performances of the season, Wolves 3-0 defeat. 
they were just all over us. They had Adama Traore and Stanislas, the ex-West Ham man, on the wings. And their pace just absolutely killed us. We just could not live with them at all. And yet, they very much deserved that 3-0 win. And that then leads us to today's game against Manchester City in the league. Let's go into the game plan to show you the game, show you the team for today's game, and then I'll show you where we are in the league. As you can see, it's Fabianski in goal, Cresswell, Diop, Balbuena, Cadrado at right back, Rice, Noble, Wilshire in the middle of the park, Lanzini, Anderson and Callum Wilson up top. Hopefully we can get a result, but look at that Man City team. Just absolutely ridiculous amount of talent there. Hopefully we can get a result. A draw I'd be very happy with. And then at the end of the last episode, I think we were like 15th or 16th in the league. And since then, we've gone up to 14th. And we are four points clear of the relegation zone. With, what is it, 9 plus 6 is 15. 15 plus 17 is 32. So this is, what, the 33rd game of the season? So, yeah, we should be okay as far as relegation goes, but you never know, with today's game being a rather difficult one. So let's go and crack on and get into the game. Here we are, guys. Game day, all getting ready now. The pitch just getting prepared. Us against Manchester City. Us huddling up, because we know this is going to be a difficult game. But hopefully we can get something out of it. It's Rodri with the ball. Into Sane. Who goes wide to Silva. And his shot is... Ooh, just, just wide there. Balbuena. Into Anderson who's passed his man. Can he get into the box? He does. He takes the shot on. And wow. That wasn't even close was it? That never looked like going in. But we're doing well so far. We are doing well. We're having a go at Man City. We're 16 minutes in and we've had more possession. Which is not something you see all the time against Pep Guardiola's City team. And now Silva. Back to Cancelo. Into David Silva. De Bruyne now. Aguero. Aguero turns. What did I say? I jinxed it. I jinxed it when I said we'd started well. Sergio Aguero with a goal that was made far, far too easy for him. Let's have a look at this on the replay. Kevin De Bruyne, as ever, with the pass that opened it up. Aguero turned Balbuena, I think it was. And once he turned him... Was never, ever going to miss. Into De Bruyne. And wide to Cancelo. David Silva. Rodri. Into Aguero. It goes for the shot. And Fabianski with a very good save. And it goes out for a corner ball. And let's have a look at this on the replay. Aguero again turning a man. But he had two men on him immediately so I think that helped us with Aguero not getting as clean a shot off and now it's De Bruyne with the corner and the header comes in and it's easy for Fabianski to catch Sane into Aguero but Rice beats him for the ball and that is half time that's gone very quickly that half that is gone very very quick and so, at half-time, we are 1-0 down. But we've only had the one shot, and it's not been on target. They've only had four shots, two on target. It's, it's felt like they've bossed us more than maybe the stats suggest. So, you never know. Might be able to get some hope in the second half. I think, for the second half, we go a little bit wider. We go maybe like that. And so we go Lanzini and Anderson on the wings. Try and combat Sane and Sterling getting so far out wide. And Fabianski with a very risky pass there. 
thankfully he gets it beyond Aguero. And now Cadrado plays the through ball. Wilson. Oh, ho, ho. what a goal that would have been. Wilson with the best chance of the game. Sorry, I've just hit the microphone. If you are wearing headphones, I do apologise. And yeah, the keeper there just saving that with his head. More than anything. You know what? Do we bring Hallow on? Do we bring Hallow on? You know what? We're going to go for it, actually. We're actually going to go for this. We're going to go two up top. Why not? Let's get Rice off. He's not had a terrible game, but if you want to go two up top, he is the natural option to sacrifice. So let's get him off for Halla. And Antonio for Anderson, I think. So let's go for that and see what that does for the last 25 minutes. And now De Bruyne, short to Stones. And now into Silva. Sterling on the edge of the box, crosses it in. Oh, what a save, but as soon as we go attacking, Man City get their second of the game. Sane being a bit of a muppet, giving it the big one in front of our fans. That is not going to help matters, is it? Oh, let's have a look at this. Sterling with it, he crossed it in, and Sane was in oceans of space. And nobody reacted to either the cross or the rebound. To Aguero. To Sterling. And oh, Aguero's in again. And it's a good stop there from Fabianski. But it's hit Cadrado and gone out for a corner ball. And now City with the corner. We head it away. Can Cadrado get onto it? Yes, he does. And now it's Wilson with the ball. And Haller's in. Haller is onside here and he's in. And all his shot is saved. And is that going to go out? Mm, yes, it is. And now Haller with the quick throw in to Cadrado. Into Noble. Cresswell he gets himself into the box, but he's unable to do anything. As now the ball goes out wide to Sterling. He crosses it in. We get it away. But only as far as Benjamin Mendy. And now Sterling with it. Goes to Iritarian. Aguero. And the shot again is saved by Fabianski. Now Sterling with the ball into Iritarian. Oh come on ref. Just blow your whistle now. Please. Oh. Finally he has. And that is the end of the game. 2-0 win for Man City. A routine win, really. We didn't trouble them too much, I think you can say. 2-0 win for Manchester City as they march on towards what should be another title for them. I'll show you the top of the league in just a minute. We only had five shots on we only had five shots, two on target. And 11 shots with 7 on target for Man City. They had 56% of the ball. Yeah, we never really looked like getting at them too much. And so, yep, yeah, here is the league table. Man City, top of the league by 4 points from Liverpool. Arsenal and Tottenham making up the top 4. Palace, rather surprisingly, up in 8th. Sheffield United in 10th. But more worryingly... We're in 15th, and we're now only two points above the relegation zone. Oh, ho, ho. And who's up next? Sheffield United. That's going to be tomorrow's game. That is going to be tomorrow's game, people. If you've enjoyed this video, give me a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more Pro Evo content. FM20 content as soon as the beta drops. It's going to be any day now. I'm going to flash up the thumbnails for my, or the thumbnail for my Kings Lynn series. And yep guys, and Planet Zoo as well, when that comes back out next week. So yep guys, all that good stuff to come on the channel. Give me a follow on Twitter, at Bad Jokes Gaming. 
And yep, guys, I think that's just about everything for today. I shall see you again tomorrow. Bye.